I'm now going to mark out the positions for the volume, switches, tone controls. This is a personal preference and really the best way to work this out is just to place the components on the guitar, place your hand where you think the bridge comfortable playing position will be and then mark up accordingly. I'm going to drill pilot holes with the drill stand right the way through the guitar and then I'm going to enlarge the holes with the hand drill. The diameter of the switches is 6mm, the diameter of the pots is 10mm, so we're going to drill different sized holes through the body. There we are, nine holes drilled. Sounds a bit like half a round of golf, doesn't it? <laughs> well, there you go, we've drilled the pilot holes with the drill stand, so we've got nice square holes through the guitar body. We're going to enlarge the holes in small increments with the hand drill so that we maintain the path that the pilot hole has given us. Now, we're going to route out a cavity for our electronics. So I've marked a border around the pots and the switches, and then I've made some templates. The first template is actually going to act as a, an overall border into which we'll cut a recess. And then we make another template, which is just five millimeters smaller, and then we'll route out to the full final depth. So what I've done here is I've raised up the first template by 20 millimeters, so that when we come to do the routing, the bearings will run against the inside of the template and then we'll just drop the, temp the router down two millimetres into the wood to give us our recess. Now we can just uh, pop our uh, gauge on just to see that we have got the right sort of depth before we remove it. 1.8 mil, that's fine, we wanted about a little bit under two. That'll do nicely. We've positioned our routing template on the back of the body. We're going to route out the cavity for our electronics. We've got two different depths we have to route to. The pots for the uh, volume and tone controls need 10 millimeter body thickness. The switches need six millimeters. So we're going to route first the whole area to 10 millimeters depth, and then we're going to route out for the switches down to six mil. So I'm just checking the depth. This is against the surface of the, the workbench. So if we check our depth, we have something along the lines of 38 to 38 and a half millimetres. So I'm going to route out close to the full depth and then do some final checks as we get close. We don't want to take too much out. That would be a bad idea. So we're down to the depth of our pots, our volume controls. So we're now just going to route out a little bit further where the switches are. And uh, to make a guide for that, I'm just going to put some pieces of wood uh, around that area. And we're going to route this middle piece out another four mil. Okay, final check. We've got 6.2, 6.2, that's a bit closer, 6.4, that's fine, Don't, it can be a little bit over. There we are, all routed out, ready for some drilling. <laughs> 